This is Dr. Richard Schultz, Jr., and I'd like to share with you a recent DMEC case that we performed not too long ago. We start off by using a pre-dissected uh, DMEC uh, donor from Ocular Systems Incorporated in North Carolina. We then tree find the donor to eight millimeters, and after filling the donor corneal rim with balanced salt. We can then strip away the periphery of a decimase membrane as you see here, leaving behind a, a central a eight millimeter disc, uh, which is uh, still attached to the posterior stroma of the uh, donor. Now again, we uh, fill the uh, donor corneal rim with balanced salt. It's important to make all of these maneuvers um, under uh, water so as to minimize uh, surface tension and stress on the donor. And you can see that this is uh, pulling away uh, quite nicely. And once the uh, donor is separated, you're going to see it uh, automatically assume a scroll configuration with uh, DMAC uh, tissue, the donor always uh, assumes a scroll with the endothelium on the outside of the scroll. Now we'll turn our attention to the uh, host cornea. We've uh, used that same eight millimeter uh, tree fine to uh, mark an eight millimeter mark on the cornea. We've just zoomed in to show the uh, guttata. Because of the pilocarpi preoperatively, there's not much of a red reflex but now we'll uh, begin the case by uh, making a side port incision at the uh, 12 o'clock position. This is a right eye, so our second uh, side port will be infrared temporarily at the 730 uh, position, as you can see here. I like to strip decimes uh, under heline because I feel that you get better control uh, doing it that way. You can also strip decimes uh, under air. Here we're introducing the heline into the anterior chamber. And next we'll use a reverse uh, Sinsky hook to uh, strip, uh, or rather score, uh, decimes in a circle uh, just around the outside of this uh, previously marked a eight millimeter border. We'll start off uh, scoring a decimase uh, in uh, two motions uh, going for 180 degrees uh, first to the left and then 180 uh, degrees uh, to the right. Now in a um, true case of uh, Fuchs dystrophy uh, as this case is uh, when we strip decimase, uh, you'll see that it uh, strips uh, quite nicely in uh, one sheet of tissue. Now we're making the incision with the 2.8 millimeter diamond keratome enlarged to approximately 3 millimeters. Now this is the uh, scraper, and you can see the uh, decimase uh, membrane peeling quite nicely here. I should add that. Uh, this case was recorded using our new Sony uh, high-definition uh, camera system. Now we like to just proceed uh, very slowly here, uh, trying if we can to get all of the uh, decimase tissue off in uh, one sheet without leaving any uh, remnants behind. We've almost got all the tissue out here. And I should add that the key line makes this much more controlled uh, and much easier than if you do this under air. So the uh, decimated membrane has been uh, removed from the eye, I like to just uh, spread it over the cornea for a moment to demonstrate what we've uh, removed. And now we will uh, remove the uh, key line with irrigation aspiration. Um, 
During this stage of the case, you can also do an inferior uh, PI if you like. And we've turned our attention back to the donor scroll and we placed the donor in a Pyrex uh, dish that's filled with uh, balanced salt. And this allows us to approach the donor scroll with the uh, injector here. We're using a star ICL injector to aspirate the donor with a no-touch technique. You can use other IOL injectors uh, as well. And once the donor has been aspirated into the injector, we very carefully carry it over to the surgical field where the host is waiting, making sure that we don't lose the donor. We've just uh, filled the donor cartridge with more balanced salt to get rid of air bubbles. And as we inject, it's important to control the pressure of the interior chamber. You notice I'm burping the paracentesis um, to keep this eye nice and soft. You do not want the interior chamber to be firm while you inject. Otherwise, when you remove the injector, it's possible to expel the uh, donor scroll and lose your donor cornea. So now we'll very gently uh, withdraw our plunger and injector and then uh, using our cannula of balanced salt we'll just tease um, the uh, end of the donor scroll out of the uh, incision and gently maneuver the donor scroll so that it lines up with the uh, side port incision we've made. Now there are many, many ways of unfolding a DMEC uh, donor. In this case, it unfolded quite nicely simply by injecting uh, a bubble of air into the uh, donor scroll. As you see here, we introduce the cannula of our uh, 3cc syringe with air. Now we'll go ahead and inject some air and the donor unfolds quite nicely. Now this is a technique that Mellis developed in which you uh, unfold the donor and uh, let the uh, donor, or rather let the air sit on top of the uh, donor for about 10 seconds or so. Then we're going to aspirate this uh, air bubble. We're just getting this last little bit of air here. Just center our donor. You notice to the right of the pupil, there's an S stamp indicating correct orientation of the donor with the stromal side of the donor facing the uh, stroma of the host. We've just zoomed in to demonstrate that. Now we're going to take our air and uh, inject our air bubble underneath the donor. Here comes the air. And we fill to about 90% uh, and um, we leave this air bubble in place for an hour and then examine the patient over in the clinic at the slit lamp where I'll typically uh, reduce the donor to 50% uh, or less. As you can see here in this slit lamp photo, this is uh, the day after surgery and here's the patient one week later with 2040 on the recognition. Thank you very much.